Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope all of you are doing great today. Thank you for tuning in. So I'm going to go ahead and start on your general tarot card message. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. Okay, let's see what we have here for you Aries. And this can be for Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign Aries. Or North Node. Or Mercury. <laughs> Any of the planets, any of them. Saturn. Saturn is where you're the boss. So that's where you're disciplined and sort of like a boss energy. So, okay. Let's see what we're getting here for Aries friends for the week. Okay. So spirit, please show us a message here for Aries for the week. Show us Aries for the week. Aries for the week. Ah! <laughs> it's like, okay, so what's happening here? There could be something very tempting, okay? So it could be, you know, anything that typically would be a little bit unhealthy for yourself, you know, um, it's really like not having power though. It could be tempting. You know it's not good for you. You know that it would sort of like limit you. The devil's like Capricorn, but not really. I mean, it says it is, but I feel like the devil is more um, obsession with control sometimes really really wanting something really bad the fool okay this is not bad then you're breaking free from this energy you're setting yourself free from this energy the fool is a new beginning a new enterprise fresh wow all majors the lovers so what you have here is very fresh energy. So the lovers is before the fall. It's Adam and Eve before the fall. Um, it's fresh and new and, you know, there's nothing um, sort of, you know, hindering. It, this is so fresh. <laughs> Why am I saying that? I don't even know. Fresh is the word. Fresh, new, um, exciting, thrilling, um, maybe a little dangerous. Okay, so I'm just going to share. Um, I woke up today and I really, for some reason, does have a strong desire to go back to England. And maybe it's just nostalgia. Maybe it's that Six of Cups nostalgia. I just feel like I want to go back to England. Um, I don't know. I just miss it. I'm mostly British, but I'm mostly... Scotland, Glasgow. So, oh wow, okay. Yes, yeah, so a lot of people might feel like a desire to return to their roots because we had a full moon in Gemini and Gemini is next door. <laughs> so Gemini is the siblings, the twins. It's also the mind, the other side of the self trying to make decisions, yes, no. Um, and Gemini is also the neighbors uh, short trips, um, weekend vacations. Um, but to me, Gemini is the mind as well. And it could be the people that are close to you or were close to you in the past. Okay. We have a two of swords, um, unable to make a decision or you have a great idea, but you're not exactly sure how to carry it out, but you're going to take action here. This is very rugged. The king of wands. Um, it's like a farmer. Like somebody who like gets up and starts early and um, has the physical energy to do things. Stamina, fire, passion. So like that desire to go back 
Um, the only thing is, I was not full British, so I was there as a student, but I couldn't get a job for some reason. Like they wouldn't, they don't let you work. So okay, so I am from Scotland, though. Like I have mostly Scottish roots. <laughs> Um, and so just maybe that feeling of wanting to get back to your roots is this full moon Gemini. Okay, show us what's coming up for Aries this week. You are going to take action on something. Your passion is very, very strong. It's a masculine. It's like the ma the action side of the self. It is the sun. So in astrology, the sun is the action and they call it masculine, but that's just the old word. Um, the sun is action, like physically standing up and going. And the moon is reflective, sitting, pondering, reflecting, wondering, you know, deciding. You have a two of cups coming in. You have a partner in crime. <laughs> kind of what it looks like it's like you have a partner in crime but you're not quite sure what to do ah is it is it this upsetting is it this bothering you the ideas so I think the ideas and the information come from somewhere so the ideas are connected to I feel like the delivery wherever the information came from what's going on here oh confused about how you feel Some of you feel like Ten of Wands to the Eight of Wands. You feel like accelerating fast and do, and taking it all on. That's like me. Like I woke up thinking, well, the cats have to go in quarantine. <laughs> and how would I get over there? Like, And then I thought, well, I could go on vacation for like a week or 10 days. Okay, what's going on here? What is Aries energy for the week? Wow, you're missing something here. Not huge. You have mostly everything. Five of coin. You feel like you need one more pentacle. You need that little bit extra. You need to be included in things. Um, five of pentacles is left out in the cold. Insufficiencies. Not being given what you need or, or want. <laughs> Uh, five of coin is also, um, maybe even like pay, investing in something that didn't pay back. So that's where you're coming from. However, there's a big change. The devil, the fool, the lovers, the king, the two of cups. I'm still, I don't know why it's so bright in here. All right. Show us what's around Aries. Somebody's going to take on a lot here. The Ten of Wands. They think it's worth it. This could be a fire sign coming towards you. Um, they think it's worth it to come towards you, to put in the effort. What are you wanting here, Aries? What are you wanting? I think you want that extra coin that... You want four of swords. Okay, you don't want any more information that's going to break your heart or hurt your feelings or cause you to lose sleep at night. You just want no more stress. Okay. You don't want any more stress. So you could be making a final decision here, king of swords. Um, making a final decision. This came out with the four of swords. So this could be like you're saying no to someone. You're putting up a boundary signing a document um there's something very one direction about the king of swords this is like yes no this is what it is but there's no like discussion so we'll just put this here you want to eliminate stress painful conversations painful words this is coming two of cups Someone's going to return your cup. So if it's a job, if it is um, 
It's information, but somebody around you is going to take on everything. And what is the outcome here for Aries? Oh, you're going to take this Two of Cups. <laughs> Whether it's a job offer or something, someone's going to offer you your wish coming true because if they're offering you a cup with this Two of Cups, it means they're giving you one to make it a nine, to make it your wish coming true. So you may have to leave something behind that didn't work out, but if somebody's giving you your wish, I mean, they're giving you your dream job. This person is coming forward with a 10 of wands. So they're willing to take everything on themselves High Priestess is underlying. Following your intuition, you may know already what this is about. This could be new love, a new job, but it is very fresh. <laughs> What's going on here? What is, so Aries, your Eight of Cups, you're walking towards your wish. There it is. See, the person's offering the cup. They're offering you their ace of water they're offering you their heart they're offering you a job it's the water in motion but it is coming through a person i mean obviously it's a person oh wow and you're getting the pentacle that you were wanting so you're getting the ace of coin that you were wanting or needing okay so say say you um, entered into a contract and wow five of swords on the bottom there's a jealous person here or a person who feels entitled or it could be that you feel justified that you want to win you want you want to win maybe because we have a five of cups behind it like somebody feels disappointed or sad um, okay so say you entered into a contract and they made promises in the contract and it didn't pay out. Nobody paid you. But you did the work. Say you went and did some construction job and it didn't pay out. They didn't pay you or they paid you half. That's leaving you depleted from what you did. Like, so you did the work and you didn't get it. The other person... You, however, maybe there was a lot of stress surrounding the situation. There was a lot of information flowing around that was like causing you a lot of headaches. So you're like, I don't want the headache. Somebody says to you, I'll offer you double what they were paying you to, to bring you back up. And you could be feeling like, yeah, that's right. You know, that could be that five of swords. But the thing is, though, this person comes in, you like them, they like you, It's it works. You could have been dealing with a situation where one, a person, a job, anyone in your life was not treating you the way you should. And perhaps with the Nine of Wands, you've been putting up with it. And now, somebody wants to give you your wish. With the Knight of Cups to the Eight, they're like, I'll give you your Nine of Cups. I'll give it to you. Why does this cause you stress? Like, the ideas you have connected to this. Well, if somebody gave me a free ticket to Scotland tomorrow, I'd be like, oh, that's amazing, but I need to pack. Oh, look, the tower. <laughs> so, like, if somebody said to me, come stay at my house, um... And I'll pay for your ticket. I'd be like, that sounds great, but whoa, now I've got a lot to plan. What's behind the tower? The world, a great achievement with truth and victory. Yeah, so you're putting up with something as well. I mean, this is pretty much, you're putting up with something that causes you, I mean, you could, it's not putting up with, maybe you were going through a situation here that required you to not quit and to not give up and yet at the same time it was quite stressful you are going to be compensated you are going to be um it could be a shock um 
you are going to be rectified. This energy will be transmuted because of another person, another human being comes to you and says, I have the cup you're wanting. Ooh, then you get to heal with the star. Okay. So then you get to recover. Full recovery. Full release. The star is a full release. It's like a full, you know, recovery. And then the star of Venus on the top of the card is about healing. So, or I'm sorry, it's about hope. Um, wishes that come true, hope and release. Yeah, so you were dealing with a, a negative situation. Oh my God, the justice card. So you're getting justice for your, here for something that was wrong. Like there was something wrong here. The moon, secrets, deception. Um, when things are hidden in the dark on purpose, you can call it lies. You can call it um, concealing. Um, it, it, the intention is to create fear. It doesn't mean the moon is bad. The moon is just the mystery. We don't know. So it causes, you have to have faith or trust your intuition. But at times the moon can cause fear because you don't know. If somebody is hi hiding it from you, you don't know. So um, major arcana justice is coming in to enforce the truth. And so that you can let this go and heal. Now... You could have been strength, okay? This could have been something where you had to transcend. You had to learn to rise above and go higher. Trust God. Um, trust God that everything will work out, Empress. Okay, so you may have to establish a boundary too. This is what you're wanting, King of Swords. You're wanting to establish a boundary. Um, say no. Um, and yeah, this is about boundaries, really. I mean, if somebody takes something from you or doesn't give to you what they said they were going to, and then it looks like though the person is making an effort with the Ten of Wands, they're making an effort to come back to you they want you back they want it's either they want you back or this is I don't see any nostalgia here I see information that is difficult to process it could have been false it could have been lies um, but this person is giving you the benefit they are coming forward with their cup to give it to you to give you your wish um, justice is being enforced so let's get one for Aries for the week. Let's get one for Aries for the week. This is not really about just a random trip. This is about actually somebody did you wrong. Like somebody did you wrong. Maybe they were careless. So you're going to get the six of coin. You're going to get that pentacle that you need. Things will, your finances will come into balance. Um, you're, you will feel better. You will feel um, happy and satisfied and content. All right, show us one here for Aries. Show us one here for Aries. Show us one here for Aries. This must be an important card because listen to your intuition. <laughs> Remain positive and if you believe. Okay. Ask for help from others. Didn't fly out but it was under underneath. Justice is going to be enforced. You will have a full recovery and a full healing. Something you have endured and tried to solve will all of a sudden fall into place with this Knight of Cups. And the root of the issue is a return to 
to the way things were prior to you being, I guess, like, harmed or mistreated or taken from or something like that fresh starts new beginnings walking away okay leaving a situation that you know no longer serves or um you could be offered something else because you have that two of cups coming into your future position so what do we have here Many doors are opening adjacent possibilities. And then we also have the strength card. This is about transcending, rising higher above the everyday energy. The door to personal healing and happiness is going to be opening here for you. So the door to personal healing and happiness, it means, first of all, it's a door opening. It's an opportunity, um, whether it's a job, a person, a friendship. But because of Major Arcana Justice and the Star, I feel like there's something that's being rectified. Ooh, the contract. Wow. There is something here about justice being enforced. Something may have been out of balance. It needs correction. Um... You need to rest, and that is what you were wanting with the Four of Swords. What else? The Magic Magician. And a Caring Connection. Wow. So, you know, it doesn't really matter where the caring connection's coming from. It just is showing up in your energies. So, very good. It's a time for action, okay? What else have we got here for Aries? Patience and the sun. Wow. Being patient and the sun is about everything working out in your favor. Very happy, very joyful. It represents growth positive energy. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. Blossoming abundance underlying. Well, should I get one from the Lenormand? I don't even know how long this video is right now, but let's see. Show us here what's coming up for Aries this week. So you end with taking something that is your wish. The Knight of Cups to the Eight, or the Eight of Cups to the Knight. This is like, okay, I'm going to take that. I'm not going to be in this nightmare anymore. <laughs> no more nightmare. That's Maybe that's what I'll call this. No more nightmare. Your wish comes true. Oh, money. Always a nice thing. The fish represent abundance. Um, there could be an earth sign around you as well. It is pentacle energy. A Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo. The fantasy. Okay. So this could be some kind of fantasy. The nest. So the nest is about who you share your living space with. Who you share your space with. Okay. And the solution. The solution. Looks like love conquers all. I mean, a letter. Maybe some of you are being invited to a party. You may take that or go. This is purity. I mean, with the lovers as the root, and this is the lilies of purity and abundance. There's a the message here for the party, the fun. The wedding, the party, um, hmm. all the stars are aligning. We, I mean, under the lying the deck, you don't see that there is fate playing out. Okay, so we have a two of cups coming to your future. You offer a cup, they offer the cup, it works. Right now, your current energy is feeling like somebody took something from me. I need that back. Why did you not include me? 
or I'm left out in the cold, um, something of that. Incoming energy is going to be emotional. Current energy is tangible. It's real. Problem you're having is with ideas connected to pain. Incoming energy, again, is going to be emotional feeling happy, feeling good, releasing something that doesn't work, but you're also at the same time getting the benefit of the six of coin. So you are getting that one pentacle given to you to elevate you back to where you, you're rectified basically. Um, and it did start with this devil energy, which is like maybe something that is toxic or just wrong in some way, just bad just not the right way to do things. I don't want to go and go biblical and say it's evil, but it's, you know, this is something that is out of balance. It's not correct. It's wrong. It's, it's false, but, um, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you Aries for watching my video and I will see you next time.